What is going on guys, it's Rogue Tonight 6 here and today I'm bringing you another episode of the Poor Man's Road to Glory Road to Glory Road to Glory and as you can see on your screen right now I just did the EA Access Cup to get the Legends Kit and the Lone Legend Pack so hopefully we get a good legend and I'm pretty sure they only have three games on them but we do have a new kit, this kit can sell but for now I think we're going to keep it just because it's like a nice collector's item and I don't really ever win tournaments, but this one was just an offline one, so it was pretty simple. And apparently there's a another kit to get, so I may run this tournament through a couple of times, and I will show you the uh, the team I was using. It was a random team full of bronzes and a few golds, a few golds that aren't in the main team. Uh, that was the team. Pretty shitty, but it won the. It got us where we need to, and all the things from last episode have sold, and a few changes have been made to the team. We're making some coins pretty quickly from those packs. We made like 10k probably, which is really fucking good. That is like really helpful. So if we go back to our main team, this is what it's looking like for now. But as soon as Desai goes, I replace it for Kashelny. and we did change Rafinha for that right back. So Kashelny's on full cam. The right back's now on full cam. Uh, pet checks on full cam, so that's even better. And we have a full bench of bronzes, uh, not bronzes, are gold that we can use for super subs and whatnot. But yeah, it's going, it's going good so far. Like I'm, I'm pretty happy with the way we started. I didn't think it'd start this easy, but it did. So if you're just getting into FIFA, make sure you look at offline tournaments, offline foot drafts, all that sort of stuff, and sell everything you can. Oh yes, we got Lungberg. Yeah, fucking good legend right there. Good legend. So we'll stick him in there for Rosa. Change him, put him to the club. Happy days, right? Any of these worth selling? Um, I don't know, I'm gonna show this some. Oh, they're all untradeable, aren't they? Oh no. Oh well. We'll put them in the club. Might use them for an offline tournament at some point, you never know. And one thing I'm gonna try in this episode is bronze pack method. If you don't know what this is, it's basically trading with bronze packs, 400 coin ones, not the 750 ones, because that's a that's not worth the the reward. And unfortunately, this one hasn't gone down too well. Those I'll keep. These two I will sell, and eventually they will sell. Diving doesn't sell for anything. This kit might actually sell. Let's have a look. Eh, it's a nice kit, but we won't make anything off it, unfortunately. Um, pretty sure I need to change the club ball. Let's try and get that free gold pack. Yep, there we go. Hopefully I get a stadium or something as well, I can change that, and then get close to that free gold pack. Which I'll probably do in my own time, just to, you know, not, like, not waste the time, but... Eh, it's just some progress. And Crowley, will you sell? Get like 200 coins out of him. It's not bad. What about this guy? Leland. Uh, no, there's too many at 200. Keeper? Nope. It's a shame. This Brazilian manager might sell because Brazilian managers used to be really hard to come by. Um, no, that can go to club. These can all go trade pile. That kit is actually really nice. How is that kit only 200 coins? We'll make that our second kit because then we've got a black and a white kit that's really nice. Yeah, I, I like that kit. Cambridge kit's a good kit. Pretty sure we need to change our badge as well, so that might have been a waste of it. We'll do one more pack and then we'll get into some games. Go play some seasons. It'll be fun. And unfortunately we didn't get what we wanted, but that's okay, the bronze, pa bronze pack method sometimes doesn't come up clutch like you want it to. We'll have that as our badge. And that's a pretty nice kit, we'll see if we can see if we can sell it. Nah. It's unfortunate, Those these kits are really nice but they don't sell for much, so it's kind of a shame. But we've got a few a few things in the transfer market now, we'll see what we can do with all this. Crowley sold, nice. So, 200 coins. 
200 coins. 200. All these are going to go up to 200 and hopefully we'll make some of our coins back on this. And the best time to sell consumables is getting closer to the weekend. Mainly due to the fact that so many packs are already opened from Team of the Week and stuff like that. And we did pick up a crew, so we picked them up really cheap. So we're good for that, right? But we're going to go into a Seasons game. We're going to see what we can do. I'm going to record all this audio afterwards and just voice over it. Because I'm going to be sat here for like an hour or so. So uh, may as well just do it afterwards when it's all cut down and ready to go. So until next time, guys. And we'll see you all later. What is going on guys, I'm back and this is the first game of the episode which you're going to be seeing right on your screen. The first opponent has a pretty solid BPL side, not going to lie, it's not, it's not great but Angel Rangel is a bit slow but other than that it's decent, it's decent. But it's to, like today was just one of those days which really annoyed me on FIFA. Like look at that for a clearance and it just sets him right up, that's typical FIFA bullshit for you right there but... You can't really do much about it. Like he takes a touch and then he goes to flick it. Really, more power should have been put on. Like you do that in real life, you'll end up having more power. But I don't. I think I went to cross it there and it didn't work. But we get the rebound nonetheless, and we're back on even playing field. It did take us a long time to get back into the game. Like to be fair, chances were pretty even. They weren't massively in anyone's favour. I don't think. But it was just one of those days. But. We did score one, and then straight off the bat, we take a nice, clean passing run, and just one twos all over the field. A bit lucky to keep hold of the ball right here. A little bit of clumsiness between his players, but that makes up for the uh, the first issue that we had. So we're all good in that department. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. I can't complain. A little bit of luck goes my way for once, which is which is good. Which is good. It doesn't FIFA doesn't usually treat me nicely, and I don't know what's going on with my PVR right here. It's just making a little laggy segments but just before the end of the game we are going to get a third and final goal just to seal out the win which is very nice great pass down to the edge of the box there straight in with a no look pass and boom that was a that was a pretty nice goal it's probably my one of my nicer goals that I score like well nicer passing goals are usually skill but we don't really have many skills in this team we don't have a lot really I think we have like one or maybe two four star skills if that's it I'm not too sure but he does like it's a good job we did get that little comfort goal because not to spoil it, I did get a bit cocky there and I shouldn't have done the fancy back pass, but he does take advantage of my mistake and gets a penalty. It's a very deba a very debatable penalty considering he took the shot and then fell over and I didn't even push him or anything, but it is what it is. Giroud scores a penalty. What can I do about that? But that is how the game ends, guys. A nice 3-2 victory after going down 1-0. And there's all the stats for the assists and the goals and everything. Goals and assists for him as well. Just so if you wanna if you wanna look at all that stuff, it's up to you. But we did get nice 505 coins. That's adding up towards our oh, oh wow, 18 shots, 11 on target for me. I definitely deserved the win. I look where all his shots are from compared to like where mine are from. Mine he had a few outside of the box, I had a few outside of the box, but mine were like right on the edge and mainly in the box as well so I think to come out 3-2 is a pretty pretty unfair scoreline to what I put on target and everything but it is what it is can't do much about it so we're gonna head straight into the second game and in fact no we're not gonna head straight into the second game we're gonna go purchase our player that we wanna buy so I spent some time, I looked on the market, see who I wanted to buy to replace Jimmy Brion because it wasn't that good. So we picked uh, Alexandra Lacazette, normally an absolute beast in this game. So we picked him up for like, was that like 42, 4300 coins? I can't quite see. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. But either way, we're going to hope he does great things for us. We'll, we'll find out as we play a few more games with him and see if he can, see if he can live up to his price tag. So we're going to head into the second game now, which, uh, and there's one thing in this game that really, really wound me up. Jamie Vardy causes me so many issues on this game, it's unreal. Like, he's an absolutely outstanding player in real life, I can't knock him for that, but literally three minutes into the game and he's already scored on me, which... 
Oh, that wound me up. That really did wind me up a little bit. Not going to lie. Not going to lie to you guys. It was pretty frustrating. I'll, I'll just leave it at that. But, unfortunately, that's how it is. And <laughs> very, very much later into the game, he gets the second opportunity. And is that Memphis to pay? I think it's Memphis to pay there, taking the shot. But all this scattering around and that stupid sliding animation again just leaving it straight on the floor straight to his player and just two goals and this game was screwing me constantly and then his third well not third attempt but look at that for a goal that is so fucking stupid it really really pissed me off when I, when I conceded that goal like I was fuming the biggest p-roller in the world and Petr Cech doesn't save it, he just drops to the floor and goes, oh no, too late. But that is how the game ended, guys, at 3-0, and we're going to move straight into the packs, and I'm doing the uh, bronze pack method to try and get myself some more coins, and it's, it's not doing too bad, it's not doing too great, though, so we're just going to look at all these players and stick them all up on the market, but until next time, guys, I'm going to leave the packs here for you, so if you want to just watch through and see what I'm doing, then feel free to do so, but until next time, I will see you all later. Peace.